Welcome back, Demons. Our wrestling team has been one of Ellie's most successful teams, and through achievement and devastation, they still continue to strive to be better. As we move through the season, Coach Monroe and freshman Jarkees Grant share what the team does to prepare for matches and tournaments. We start out with a little bit of a little warm-up jog. They do some, uh, some stretching and some agilities. A lot of the agilities are tied into wrestling moves and wrestling technique and everything else. No junk food, no fried foods, no soda, sweet tea, things like that. Before a match, I usually stretch, drink some water, and get hydrated. During the match, I focus on getting my opponent down and winning. Along with the warm-ups, the team also begins each match with a time to remember a former demon, Clay Crossway, a state-bound wrestler and linebacker for the football team. While his passing wasn't recent, the team and the entire wrestling community were impacted by the sudden death. Ethan Korn, Coach Monroe, Jarkees Grant, and girlfriend Kaylee Robinson share the impacts of his life and his loss. Clay was a really, really joy to be around. He was a fun kid. He was um, a witty kid. He was a great teammate. Um, the younger wrestlers, they looked up to him so much, and he was really like a brother to a lot of his really, really close teammates that he went, you know, went to school with and graduated with. Um, a lot of these seniors right now were freshmen when Clay was on the team. So Clay was like a, a big brother slash mentor. And, um, you know, when we were all at, the, at Clay's funeral and the receiving for the family and everything, I mean, it was amazing how the wrestling community just came together because we loved him and we had so much respect for him and, and how much of an impact he had on our wrestling program. On our Facebook page, Clay is still our, you know, photo that we use on our Facebook page. Since I was a freshman, whenever uh, he was a senior, he was always more of a, a mentor to me and a friend. And he just helped me out through the season. Like I lost that mentor. So I kind of had to find it within myself and just kind of like teach myself what he taught me and just go with it. Me and Clay's mom still talk a lot whenever she, she's thinking about Clay. And I still talk to him and uh, she gave me a shirt before a match and ever since then I usually wear it on important matches that either she's going to be there or whenever I'm thinking about them whenever and it's, in, it's always in my room to where I can see it every day and I walk out and see it and it always means a lot to me. Um, we had a shadow box that was created that, that's in our, our lobby area. Um, I know I kind of get a little emotional sometimes when I pass that thing and stop and just look at it and think back. We actually met in the eighth grade um, when he first moved to Lugoff and uh, we became instant friends in the eighth grade and stayed friends all the way throughout high school. We actually dated at the end of high school into college. They honored him at the Demon Tournament last year, I believe, and so all of us went to see that and also uh, we were really close with some of the younger wrestlers and they are seniors this year, so I still love to go see them. I still consider them my family and they've been super good to me, so I like to watch them when I can. He was a class clown, super funny, but at the same time was super determined to get everything done. Um, so he was one of those people that could make you laugh while he was also doing everything to the best of his ability. Um, he was super serious about football and wrestling and everything he was passionate about. He loved all of his friends and was super protective over them and his family as well. And yeah, just super determined to be successful. To further keep Clay's legacy alive, the Clay Crossway Memorial Foundation was created at the beginning of last year to recognize a graduating senior who's achieved success both academically and in the community just like Clay did. Robinson is the co-founder of this foundation and has been actively trying to keep his memory alive. Last year was our first time giving away the scholarship and we hope to continue it for a long time, but we just wanted to do something to give back to the community in Clay's name because we know that if he were here, he would be doing that. It doesn't matter if you're going to a two-year college, four-year college, 
a trade school. We just wanted to help someone who wanted to further their education. So uh, we're not picky about that. And our application is going to open on January 2nd, I believe, this year. Mm -hmm. I really thank everyone for continuing to talk about Clay. That's one of our goals is that we don't want to let his memory die. We can continue to live for him and help to keep his memory alive. We challenge you, demons, to live your lives to the fullest and never take a moment for granted. This is Haley Hopkins signing off.